Hello there. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. My name is Paula. Uh, so today's sequence is uh, all about releasing through the lower back and we'll do that through releasing through the hips as well. So the outer hips are glutes. Uh, so if you've got a block, please have that. If you don't have a block, you could just use some firm cushions. There's just a couple of poses we'll do towards the end, which is really useful um, to have something to help elevate the hips. So let's make a start, make sure you're nice and comfortable. We're going to start in a cross-legged position. Let's all begin with the right leg in front. I'm, I'm going to mirror you. So, um, and we're going to take not our wide-legged kind of cross-legged position, but more of an overcross, going really into our fire log position, but we're not going to go for our stack here. We're just gonna keep one leg in front of the other. And just a little bit of a flex through the feet, resting the hands down onto the, the legs and closing down your eyes. And just noting here, if this is a very difficult position for you, you might want to sit on your block or sit on a blanket or something like that, just to help elevate the hips and find a little bit more relief through uh, the hips. Once you're in your position, just allowing those eyes to really settle down. Finding the breath. Checking in with where you're at right now. starting to take a few slower, deeper breaths. Allowing the muscles of the face to relax. And then let's blink open the eyes. Take the hands to the outside of the knees if you can, and then let's take a cat-cow action here. So we're gonna pull on the knees to draw the chest forward, shoulder heads back, lifting the eyes, inhale, and then exhale to C curve through the spine, draw the navel in, press the middle part of the spine back, tucking the chin in, and then again, inhale. Arching through the spine, elbows draw in, and then exhale, C curving, going the other way. And one more time, inhaling, drawing the chest forward and up, and then exhale. And then coming back to your long spine, arms down by your side, take an inhale to reach both arms up, hands shoulder distance apart, and then exhale to take a twist to your right. And back of that left hand to the outer edge of that right thigh, right hand behind you, and looking over towards that right shoulder. Try to drop both shoulder heads down. Thinking about the left side of the body turning towards the right. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, see if there's any more space, particularly through the upper body. And then taking an inhale, coming back through centre. Hands down by your side, and then as you exhale, walking your hands forward. Just to where you can. So you might be staying more upright here. You can keep active through those arms, or if you feel like you just really want to soften through that upper body, relaxing through those arms, stack one fist on top of the other so your forehead has somewhere to rest, or hands on top of the other. Just find the breath. One more full breath here. And then walking your hands back upright. And let's swap the legs around. So bringing your left leg in front now. <clears throat> Just 
So thinking about overcrossing the legs just a little bit here, bringing the hands onto the knees and starting with that cat cow, taking an inhale to arch through the spine, chest forward and up, eyes up, and then exhaling, C curve, draw the navel in, and then inhale, lower back, middle back, upper back, neck, and then exhale, lower back, middle back, upper back, and neck. And just going a couple more times. One more. And then coming back into your neutral long spine, arms down by your side, take an inhale, reaching out through both sides of the waist, hands shoulder distance apart, and then as you exhale, take a twist to your left, back of that right hand, resting onto the outside of that left thigh and looking over the left shoulder. Both sitting bones down, it's particularly that right sitting bone. As you inhale, grow up through both sides of the waist and as you exhale, thinking about that right side of the body turning to the left. Taking one more full breath, inhaling. As you exhale, see if there's any more space. And then inhale back to centre. And then as you exhale, walking your hands forward to where you can. And remembering option here to just keep quite active with those arms or you could just rest the, the head down towards the ground if that feels good. Just breathing into any sensations in the body. Noticing if there's any space just to soften and let go on the exhale. And then taking an inhale, coming back upright, releasing the legs out long and making your way down onto your back. Make sure you've got your block or your cushions nearby here because we'll use them in a little while. Just setting up with the feet hip distance apart to begin with, arms down by your side. Bring that right ankle on top of the left thigh and then bring the legs in towards you. And rather than, than threading through, this time we're just going to place that right forearm matching the inner edge of that right inner shin and then draw the legs in towards you. So your right elbow is going to press that right knee away and try to keep both hips level. So what will usually happen is one hip will hitch up. You want to try to keep the pelvis as neutral as you can here, pressing that right knee away with your right elbow, drawing the legs in towards the chest, taking one full breath, inhale. As you exhale, maybe seeing if there's any more space to squeeze in. And then releasing down, keep the legs where they are. Left foot comes down, arms down by your side. And then take an inhale to lift the hips up into a bridge variation. Try to keep the hip bones as level as you can. So we're just activating through the back chain of the body. So the back of that uh, left thigh, the hamstring and the back muscles. Option to stay here. If you can extend that right leg up towards the ceiling, flexing through the right foot. Keep breathing, press down through that left foot. Just for three, for two. Take one more inhale, press that right foot a little bit higher towards the ceiling and then placing that right foot back down. Just taking a moment with both feet flat, maybe lifting the hips up a little bit higher. Inhale and then exhale. Spinal roll all the way back down to the mat. Placing that left ankle on top of the right thigh, bringing the legs in towards the chest, placing that left forearm matching the inner edge of that left shin, and using that right hand to draw the legs in towards you. Just keeping this left foot flexed. Using the left elbow to press the left knee away, trying to even out the hips. If you notice that right hip is lifting up. Taking one more full breath, inhaling. 
As you exhale, try to squeeze the legs in maybe a little bit more. That's going to keep the shape of the legs but place that right foot back down to the mat, arms down by your side. Inhale to lift the hips up. Ground down through that right foot. Both shoulders stay down, hip bones staying level so you try not to drop that left hip. An option here to extend that left leg up towards the ceiling. Flexing the left toes towards the face. Keep the eyes steady. You might look towards uh, the left big toe or just a spot on the ceiling. Keep pressing down through that right foot. For three, for two. Take one more inhale, lift that left foot a little bit higher and then place that left foot down, staying up on both feet just for a breath. And then when you're ready, rolling all the way back down, grabbing your block or your cushions. We're going to lift the hips back up and place the block either on its middle height here, or if you feel like that's too high, you might come down flat. But if you can, middle height here on the block, resting the flat part of the pelvis down. So you can really let your weight sit into the block here. So you want to feel supported. Arms down by your side and then bring this right knee in towards the chest, holding the front of the shin bone. If it's available, you might extend that left leg away long, flexing the left foot and flexing the right foot. Relax the shoulder heads down. Press the inner edge of that left foot away as you squeeze the right knee in towards the chest. opening up through the front of that left thigh, that left hip. Take one more full breath, inhale, stay for the exhale, squeezing in and then let's gently release, bring both feet flat onto the mat. Just take a moment here, swapping it around, bring that left knee in towards the chest, both hands if you can. And then extending that right leg away, flexing the right foot, flexing the left foot, pressing the inner edge of that right foot away. As you inhale, you can just stay. And then as you exhale, try to squeeze the left knee a little bit further in towards you as you keep pressing the inner edge of that right foot away from you. Easy breathing. One more full breath. Oh, as you exhale, see if there's any more space to squeeze in. And then very gently, just releasing out both feet flat onto the mat, arms down by your side. Now we're going to stay either in this position or if it feels comfortable to do so, we're going to extend both legs away. But just be really mindful, you might need to come down a little bit lower on your block or you might just keep the feet flat on the mat. So just see how you go with this, letting the legs extend away. And you can try to just have the feet relax. This might feel too strong on the lower back. And if you want to try to be a bit more active, flex the feet. So you're active through those legs, inner edges pressing forward, shoulder heads dropping down. Find your breathing. And then let's gently just release that, bringing one foot flat onto the mat at a time. And then pressing down through the feet to lift the hips up, moving the block or your cushions out of the way, coming flat back down onto your mat. Just take a moment, letting everything settle back down. And then bringing the knees in towards the chest and coming into your happy baby. So you could hold behind the, the calves, the ankles, or the outside edges of the feet. Just taking a moment, trying to squeeze the knees in and press the back of the pelvis back down. And either staying here or you can just rock from side to side, just massaging out the lower back, relaxing the face, relaxing the shoulders, keeping your breathing easy. 
and then come back to centre, taking an inhale as you exhale, trying to squeeze in once again with the knees. Either you can stay here if you'd like to try to straighten the right leg, take a breath here, straightening that right leg, and then come back, and then trying to straighten the left leg, just wherever you get to, just take a breath, and then come back to centre. Taking one more inhale here as you exhale, maybe squeeze in a little bit more and then releasing the feet back down to the mat. Just one last little thing before we take our Shavasana. Now take your thumbs, come to, that, to your hip creases and what you want to do is just press down and away. So we're really just trying to find that psoas muscle, that deep hip muscle that actually comes across the front of the pelvis and attaches to the lower back or the lumbar spine. So just really trying to give yourself a little bit of a stretch or a massage here. You might try to release and find it a couple of times. You're just really pressing down with the thumbs, down and away. And then let's release that when you're ready. Extending the legs out long. And if you do have a bolster or your cushion, you might pop that underneath your knees. That can feel really nice for your lower back. Closing down the eyes when you're ready. Taking a, nice, taking a few nice deep breaths with each exhale, allowing the body to get a little bit heavier and a little bit softer. Allowing yourself to come to complete rest for the next few minutes. Feeling free to stay resting here for as long as you would like to. If you're ready to start moving again, start to deepen into your breathing. Just allowing the breath to fill the whole body. Bringing a little bit of movement to the fingers and the toes. Bending the knees up and rolling over to the side of your choice. Just allowing yourself to rest there for a few moments. And then when you're ready, let's make our way up to a comfortable seated position. Just resting the hands down onto the thighs. Allowing the eyes to stay closed. Feeling long through the entire spinal column. Shoulder heads dropping away from the ears. And 
So noticing any difference between the time that you started the practice to now. And then bringing the palms and hands together in front of your chest, bowing the head down towards your hands, acknowledging your effort to come to your mat today. Thank you so much for practicing. Namaste. Namaste.